Are you currently searching for a way to have unique IP addresses for your online profiles? Cannot decide what is better, a VPN or a proxy? Or maybe you're thinking of switching from one to another. Watch this video to find out. Hi guys, my name is Stan from Multilogin App. As some of you may know or may not know, VPN and proxies are one of the most popular ways on how you can change your IP address. Knowing exactly which method to use will allow you to have less restrictions and bans on your online profiles. Also, it may save you money. Before we go into the pros and cons of each method, we will first discuss the terms. Alright, so what's a VPN? In general terms, a VPN is a virtual private network, which is oftentimes used by corporations to protect their sensitive data. Also, VPNs can be used to have unique IP addresses. In order to get a VPN, you either create your own or subscribe to a paid service. In case you're going for the paid option, your provider will give you access to the software client which you install on your computer and which you will use to change your IP address. The way you use VPN in managing online profiles is that you first connect to your VPN, then you choose a server location where you want to appear from it will assign you an IP address and then you log in into your first account. After you are finished with your first account and want to go to the second one, you disconnect from the server, connect to a second server and log in into your second account. Okay, so what's a proxy? In a nutshell, a proxy is another machine with a dedicated IP address, which acts as a hub between your computer and the world of internet. By connecting to this machine, you assign its IP address. From this point on, whenever you go to any particular website, you will see to that website as having that machine's IP address. Same as VPN, you can either buy proxies or set up your own. In both cases, you will have a list of proxies, ports and different authorization methods, which you will then use to connect. Each proxy can be assigned to one particular browser profile or account. And whenever you connect to them, you will have the same IP address all the time. All right, guys, I know these were oversimplified versions of what a VPN or a proxies are. However, here we discuss only how we can use these methods in managing online profiles. So if you're interested in learning more about these topics, you can definitely search the web and find out more. Without further ado, let's discuss pros and cons of VPN in managing online profiles. The first good thing about VPN is that it can give you unique IP addresses for your online profiles. Websites will not be able to track your multiple profiles by the means of IP address tracking. Secondly, you will have access to hundreds, even thousands of available IP addresses across the world for a relatively cheap price. Another good thing about VPN is that it encrypts your traffic, which basically means that your internet service provider will not be able to track your internet activity. And finally, usually when you're using a VPN, websites will not be able to retrieve your real local IP address by the means of different scripts like WebRTC. However, it greatly depends on your VPN provider. There are also some downsides to VPN as well. The first very crucial aspect about VPN is that unless you're using a dedicated VPN servers, you're sharing your IP addresses with hundreds or even thousands of other users. There's also a certain chance that some of these users are abusing web platforms, which leads to the IP addresses being blacklisted. And if you connect to your online profiles with those IPs, there is a very high chance that you will be subject to permanent bans and restrictions. The second thing is that it's time consuming when you're switching between different online profiles. First, you have to disconnect from your initial VPN server, then connect to a new one, assign a new IP address, and only then log in into your next account. And you will have to do this process every time when you switch between different online profiles. Finally, you will not be able to open several browser profiles or accounts with unique IP addresses. With VPN, you will have to work with one account at a time. 
So if you like multitasking, sorry, VPN will not be able to help you with that. And that's it about VPNs. Let's get into proxies. Firstly, same as VPN, proxies can give you unique IP addresses for your online profiles, which is very useful. Secondly, using proxies does not require you to install a separate software client. You can just copy paste those proxy addresses in your multi-login app browser profiles and then connect to them. Furthermore, proxies are great productivity-wise. You can assign a unique proxy to each browser profile, then access them with unique IP addresses without the need of switching, restarting anything. You can also simultaneously open multiple browser profiles with unique IP addresses, which is absolutely great if you like multitasking. All right, so what are the downsides to proxies? The first thing, unlike a VPN, when you're connecting to a proxy, the connection is not encrypted, which basically means that your internet service provider will still see your internet traffic. You pay based on the amount of proxies you use. So if you assign a unique proxy to one particular profile, then it can be quite pricey if you're managing over 20 or 50 browser profiles. Finally, unlike VPN, websites will be able to retrieve your real local IP address by the means of different scripts like WebRTC. However, this can be avoided by blocking WebRTC completely. This is available for both free and paid users of Multilogin app. And that's it for proxies. So you're probably asking, Stan, what is better, a VPN or a proxy? My answer would be, it depends. Currently, using proxies is one of the most popular ways of managing online profiles within Multilogin app users. This is due to the fact that proxies are easy to use and can always be checked if they're blacklisted or not. Therefore, you may want to use proxies if you want to keep your online profiles for longer periods and you access them on a daily basis. On second hand, you may want to use a VPN as well. If the accounts you manage are for one-time use and you want to have access to hundreds or even thousands of available IP addresses for a relatively cheap price. I know that some VPN services may offer dedicated servers with IP addresses, however, they, their cost is quite expensive. In this case, you may want to use proxies instead. Okay guys, thanks for watching. I hope this video was useful to you. And if you have any more questions, just let us know in the comment section below. See ya!